Dwayne Hickson is one of our pioneer Adopt a Home for Wildlife participants. He is developing the Bellum Valley River mouth into a nine hole golf course and in the process is removing invasive species and creating wetlands. This is near the site of the old golf course buried 20 years ago by the volcanic eruptions. He previously discussed his vision with UK OTCF in spring 2018. This discussion can be viewed at ukotcf.org.uk slash Montserrat. A year later, Duane and Mike Pienkowski, chairman of UK OTCF, visit the site and talk about progress and future actions. So you, you were saying you're going to get this, this trim back a bit? Yes, I'm going to debrush it. Yeah. I'm just waiting for the excavator to uh, yeah. come back down before we can actually uh, um, start working on it again. Yeah. And then I'll mm. actually st start widening it yes. um, to the ocean. That's good. As well. yeah. That's good, yeah, because I mean, the, because Montserrat soil so rich, everything grows. Yes. You, you need to have to just, like that. Yeah. <laughs> just like that. You got to keep at it, <laughs> you know. And, it shows you I haven't done anything down here for about mm -hmm. maybe mm -hmm. four or five months. No, no. And that's this is the mm. evidence really. Yeah. Um, so the, the trick really we would try and keep a bit of a mosaic of, of different, of different thing, yeah. things, yes. Yeah, so yeah. But that's mm -hmm. very promising indeed, yes. Well, I'm sure the golfers will be glad, glad to have it to oh, yes, back. They're, they're I mean I don't be well, I'm not sure how how many years since the people almost buried, but it's quite a lot. <laughs> well <laughs> quite a lot. I think it, it got buried Basically, since uh, we could almost say um, 2000. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's 19 years plus, yes. really. <laughs> yeah. You know. Yes. So well, definitely, some yeah. 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 Well, for our part, we're, we're busy still trying to get resources to get a project officer back in uh, to uh, replace Nicholas. So, okay. Uh, because obviously, you know, both to support those sites like yours, which are already part of our Dr. Home Wildlife Scheme, yes. but also to encourage others right. to join in. We need to have someone local working right. at these, and also be able to you know, answer detailed questions about sorts yeah. of trees and this sort yeah. of thing. So we, we keep putting applications in for that, and we'll be, put, we've, in fact, we just put one in for the, the current round of funding, okay. and we'll see how that uh, goes. So. Has anything happened uh, about the, there's a plan for the RSPB to do other things in the valley? Is yes, they, they actually I had a meeting with them and they're very supportive of mm -hmm. the entire thing because yes. it's the, the water table down here is is very high. Yeah. So whereas as you go mm -hmm. further up the valley, then it gets much lower. Of course, yeah. you know. Mm -hmm. And so they were thinking about um, helping me to enhance even. Um, Designing the, the the golf course yes. around of these oh, yes. um, Th yeah de definitely no that, that we we, pond we, areas. we we fully support that because I yeah. think that's a, there's a lot of potential in that yes uh, and, and equally of course it's something you don't have to do in one go you right can, if you've got a master plan you can work out how you're going to get gonna to, yeah. to that in various yeah. stages because I did mention your name and they they were aware mm -hmm. you know they they didn't know, um, know a lot about you you, you would be hard just to have a golf course and maintain it. I guess, yeah. So yeah, you yeah. have to have other tributaries that would actually, mm. you know, married to the bar. Mm. And so it, it creates that atmosphere for people. Yeah. Um, when they come down, it's, you know, who wants to go and watch birds, go and watch the birds. Yeah. Who wants to go and play golf. Exactly. Or you want to go to the bar, you go to the bar. Yeah. And I think, I think that's the way to sort this, this multiple uh, use, which, which can sort of feed on each other as well. Yes. So. So what I'm planning to do is the next phase, mm -hmm. the next time I dredge, I'll dredge this deep enough that I can actually set up pumps and yep. you know yep. and um, so I could actually utilize some of the water that will be onto, sensible, yeah. you know, yeah. Yeah. Um, for irrigation purposes. Yeah. Yeah. Now, um, what, what, what should we spoken about that we haven't yes, yet? Really, it's just to say that um, Dwayne is just doing a fantastic yeah. job in a holistic sense, yes. you know, for the benefit of all aspects of the economy and right. sustainability yeah. of Montserrat. That's right. Yeah, I that's, think that's what that, the that's feeling the, I get. I mean, that's, yes. right, that's very much the case. I mean, we, we know that, I mean, we're, we're obviously originally interested in, in, in wildlife for its own sake, but equally we recognise that if the wildlife actually can help the local economy, then it's going to be even then safer good, because, yes. because people are going to be depending on it for their, their livelihoods. Right. And I think, I think Montserrat's in a better place for that 
than, than some other places because people here are close to nature yes. and they like their island yes. and uh, I think there's a lot of potential. Well, you can tell that I, li I love my island. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> You know, you can tell because of what I've done. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But it's um, it's all good. As I say, you know, I love my mm. country. And, yeah, oh, um, I'm for place. the environment. Mm. Um, mm. I'm trying to go as green as possible yeah. down here. Yeah. You know, um, so oh. it, it's you know, whatsoever I do down here, it would be um, my aim is to get it as close and as friendly to the environment mm. as possible. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's great. No, well, as, as Anne said, you're doing a great job on this and we, we, we follow it with, with interest and obviously any advice we can give and, and so once we've got our, our, our product officer back in again any sort of particular specialist advice you need then yeah. we're, we're, we're very happy with that and, and, and obviously plants as well. Right. Sadly the project funding application to UK government which Mike talks about was not successful. UK OTCF whilst seeking other funds is supporting a very basic level of the Adopt a Home for Wildlife programme from its own very limited resources. Effective support to help Montserratians conserve their unique wildlife, following the severe challenges of the volcanic eruptions, would build on our joint initial successes. UK OTCF thanks all those volunteers who have donated time and funds to support this work. Please consider supporting UK OTCF's work in Montserrat. You can donate at www.ukotcf.org.uk slash appeals. Thank you.